The prop ended up being over 30 parts in total and I needed to make a silicone mold for each and every one of them. Each part needed to be clayed up to create a parting line before covering that half in liquid silicone. For the inner barrel, I actually 3D printed my own custom mold jacket with built-in registration. It worked out great and I'm planning on experimenting with more intricate 3D printed mold jackets in the future. The rest of the molding went well, it just took a long, tedious time especially on some of the more complicated parts like that top barrel. When it was time to pour the second half of the molds, I could flip them over, remove the clay, spray in some mold release, and pour the other halves. I went through a substantial amount of silicone. When that silicone was fully cured, I could finally remove my parts from the molds and get onto casting all of the final parts. This is where things started to get exciting. Now to get a metallic finish on the parts that were supposed to look like metal, I used a technique called cold casting. A metal powder, in this case aluminum, was dusted on the inside surface of the silicone mold and the excess was dumped back out. Then the mold was clamped together and liquid resin is poured in to fill the cavity. While that resin was still liquid, it was placed inside of a pressure pot to ensure that any remaining bubbles would be compressed so small that they couldn't be seen. This is critical because you can't sand and fill a cold cast finish. The metal powder only makes up a thin outer shell of the resin and it's far too easy to accidentally chew through it and it's also nearly impossible to repair. Any flashing was scraped off easily and I could buff the surface with a fine steel wool to bring out that genuine metallic finish. For the fake bullet inside the magazine, I added brass powder and aluminum powder to just the parts I wanted to be colored. Anywhere that the powder spilled over was cleaned up with a cotton swab and some isopropyl alcohol. This way, I could cast the part with black plastic and when it popped out of the mold, all I had to do was buff the fake bullet and the entire part was done. No painting necessary. The grips were also cast in that Smoothcast 326, but this time with an orange tint added. This mold was also pressure cast to ensure there would be no bubbles and the resulting parts looked incredible. All of the features work. The bolt opens and slides back and forth. The main trigger does its pew pew. The cylinder actually pops open and closes. And finally, the magazine pops out and has working lights. I did everything I set out to do with this project and I could not be happier. 